All right, guys, it is chicken pozole time. This video is going out to my baby sister. She's always telling me that she wants to have chicken pozole because the pork pozole is not her favorite. So here we go. I've bought the big package of the boneless, skinless chicken thighs, and I just cubed them up, and they're all gonna be about this size right here. You see that? And it's gonna fall apart, uh, which is good, great. I've got one bushel of cilantro, two yellow onions. It could be white onion, yellow onion, it really doesn't matter, just whatever you got, use that, okay? Right here, I've got two bouillon cubes. I've got about three tablespoons of ground oregano. I've got two tablespoons of salt. Um, cumin, about one tablespoon, two bay leaves, and about a tablespoon of pepper. And the reason I don't put that much salt in it is because these uh, uh, bouillon cubes, the chicken bouillon cubes, uh, they have a lot of salt in them already. And you wanna add the salt to the end, that way you're not over salting, okay? And I've got two cans of white hominy. Doesn't have to be white. It could be gold hominy, yellow hominy, whatever you want. Uh, it's just a color, it tastes the same, uh, for me anyway. And this, I saw this at the store uh, yesterday and I got super excited about it. It's just minced garlic, you can see that right there. But it's in a squeeze bottle. And uh, I, don't, I guess I'm a dork, I get excited over stuff like this. And then, I don't know if you watched the red chili video the other day, but if you did, I told you I always have red chili on hand. And this is it. And I also told you that it vacuum seals pretty good if you put it in there while it's hot and then stick it in the fridge. And then I got a gallon of water right here, okay? I got my roaster on, I'm gonna put it all the way up. Uh, to uh, 400 is what mine goes to. If you got a crock pot, it'll work in the crock pot, Insta pot. You can do, do it on the stove if you want to. Just whatever your preference is, is fine. Um, and you know, if you get everything ready just like this, you can just kind of dump it in. You want to let it cook for about three hours. Um, four hours is better. Uh, on the hominy, I've told you in a prior video, but we'll, I'll tell you again. I used to rinse the hominy out, you know, the, the juice that comes in the can, I used to rinse that off and wash it and then put it in there. But when I did that, I noticed that the pozole, the juice of the pozole would come out uh, kind of thin. And I then learned that if you leave the juice from the hominy in there, the, the sauce thickens up a little bit more and I like that. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get started. So it's very simple. We're just going to chunk the chicken in there. Okay, there's that. Put that in the sink. Okay, my onions and cilantro, you dump it in there. There we go. Uh, my red chili, it's a whole mason jar. Um, if you can find the ready prepared stuff in the freezer section, uh, use that. If not, watch my video and you'll learn how to make this right here. And we'll just pour the whole thing in there. And what I'll do too, I'm not going to do it on camera here, but I'll add a little water to it from the sink, shake it up, and just add that little water there to not only to clean out my jar, but to add a little bit more chili that stayed in there. All my ingredients right there, all in. Okay, my squeezed garlic. I don't know how much that is, but that much. That's how much you want to put in there. Now my cans of hominy with the juice. All right, we'll get the second can here. Put that straight in there with the juice. Okay, and my gallon of water. Okay, now look at this. Do you see how far from the top the roaster is? That's about where you want it all the time if you're gonna be doing it in the roaster, okay? Uh, you don't wanna go too much because if it starts to boil or simmer or whatever, it's gonna come out of the roaster and you don't want that. That's not a good thing. Um, I'm just gonna give it a little stir to get things going and you'll kind of see the color come through here in just a second. You see that red getting mixed in there? All right, it already smells great. I want you guys to try this recipe. Especially for you folks that don't like pork meat, do the chicken, it's all right. Uh, 
And when it's all, I, we'll show you, a, I'll put a picture on here. I'm not gonna do another video of when it's done, but when it's said and done, I usually have some minced onion mixed with uh, cilantro that will serve with it. Lime wedge, or a little chunk of lime, and uh, some saltine crackers is what I like it with, but you can use corn tortillas or tortilla chips, whatever your preference is. Uh, but please try this right here. This is delicious. You're gonna love it. It feeds a lot of people. Um, share the video. That I'd like to get the exposure uh, of sharing the video. That would be great. I'd appreciate it if you did that. Um, and if you do try this, take a picture and put it in the comments, please. Other than that, man, y'all have a wonderful day. And thank you for watching my video.